top of the morning, friends and family. Every now and then you gotta run around like crazy people screaming your heads off. I think it's therapeutic. We call it scream therapy, crazy therapy. Moshi likes it. So today I was thinking I would give you guys a little update on the blood python clutch that we hashed out recently. And then and we're going to play tag. <laughs> Noah thinks we're gonna play tag, and maybe we will. But blood python therapy. No, yes. Blood in the water. So there's a couple of tricks with the blood pythons that I've learned from other more experienced blood python baby raising, keeping people. I'm gonna share that with you. We're gonna look at the snakes. I'm gonna see if I can get these guys to hold blood pythons because I think if with proper instruction they can do it successfully without getting bit, then I think anybody can do it. If a five-year-old and three-year-old can do it, you can do it too. Before we look at the babies, I just wanna show you guys mom again real quick. This is Sangria, if you haven't met her before. Awesome blood python who usually I wouldn't let point at my face like that or any snake I get. Well, actually, I take that back. Um, but she started out super defensive, just like most baby snakes, you know, striking at everything, afraid. And now she can just be handled like a nice, docile snake. She's cool. She's handleable. Little kids can handle her. And, uh, hot tea. Oh, she oh, so nice. Yeah, nice pets. Nice pets. Super docile and just hangs out and chills and she's she's good. She's good. It just takes a little bit of a little bit of getting them used to being handled and they're they're good to go. But uh, before we before we bring the boys in to try and pick up these babies, uh, I wanted to throw a couple things out there. First, at the end of this video, we've got a couple of giveaways to attend to, so we're gonna make sure we do that. We're also gonna be giving away a brick of okay, let me put this girl down. We're also gonna be giving away a brick of this cocoa blocks to one of you guys that comments down below. So leave a comment down below. Let me know why you do whatever you do. <laughs> I'm sorry, T. Oh, do you want to see the snakey some more, T? You ever see a blood python move the fast? She's just like, get me out of here, please. All right, baby, sorry. T, T, she's scared of you, T. She's scared of you, and she probably should be. We're not quite ready. Yeah, I'm sorry. Boys! You guys ready to hold some blood pythons? Who wants to go first? Me. All right, if we're gonna hold snakes, you guys gotta be calm, okay? Can we, can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this isn't calm. It might even make me sick. Okay, Noah, Noah first. Eli, you keep T over there, okay? That's your job. Stay Will back. Will they Stay bite? Back. Hopefully not. This is, I'm going to teach you how to do it without them biting you, okay? So should I get him from behind? Yeah, exactly. You get him from behind, gently, slowly. Pick him up. Easily. Yeah, easy. You're good. You're doing good. Just pick him up now. Is there water in there? Perfect. Eli, you're supposed to be holding your sister back. Eli, you're supposed to be holding your sister back, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's nap time, isn't it? Those guys are really... Well, <laughs> I really like blood pythons. <laughs> hey, you guys the same one I like on. Only this guy is a lot smaller. Okay, T, you want, you're gonna try and get bit by the snake? Is that what you wanna do? Whoa! Oh. He's a jumpy guy. Lay him. Lay oh. him. Ah! He's a Lay off! No. That's cool that he flattens his body. Never know how you get him from behind, right? Oh! He's no way up. Just pick, pick him up from behind, Noah. Hello? He's swimming up! Oh, careful. Okay, just hold him from behind. Yeah. Can you help me? You, you got it, bud. Just pick him up from behind. Just dig underneath him. He'll be fine. And just don't let him go if he tries to strike, okay? Just hold on to him, whatever you do. All right? Yeah. Just pick him up. At least the bite won't hurt. Wow. Ah. Just hold him. Just hold him. You good. Oh. You good. Oh. Just hold on to him. I hate this Teach him that. Teach him that. Even though he's biting, whoa! <laughs> uh. Do you feel any biting? I hope he's smelling me. Okay, now bring him back away from your face. Go ahead, go ahead, bring him back in front of you, real gently, no, away from your face. There you go. Hmm. 
keep. I'm gonna keep. Oh. He's right. Okay, now let's let's put him back into his cage. Well, I don't want really gently hold. gently set him down. Well, I don't really want to hold him. You guys <laughs> He's kind of cute. You gotta put the part where he tried to bite the camera. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna go put it down for a nap, and we'll come right back. So although I wouldn't recommend letting a baby try to hold the snake is like I was getting frustrated and I was just like, all right, you won't really want to hold the snake? You really want to hold the snake that bad? Go ahead, get no. big. <sighs> Kids will truly test your patience. Truly, truly. Oh my gosh. I'm growing as a person, growing as a person. I am growing as a person, person. Um, <sighs> So, uh, to be fair, I'd much rather let a kid get bit by a little baby blood python than, uh, like, a puppy, even, or something like that. Oh, my gosh. I, these guys can't be quiet for 15 seconds. I literally begged them to please, please be quiet just for 15 minutes while, 15 seconds while I collect my thoughts. No comes over worse reason. Can, you, can we, do we still have to be quiet? Been ah! It's real life, people. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. You know what? Taking care of children is hard. Taking care of three children is hard for two parents. Yeah, and, and I'm only I'm only one parent right now. Mm. Yeah, but mommy's a two parent. Mommy's a two parent. Hey Noah. What? Ah. What do you know? I know. Saw. Saws? Yeah. What about saws? That they spin and you can use them to cut things and you can use them as a weapon and they're sharp and they have serrated edges that are and they're all curved facing one way so that it can spin that way that it's, that the spikes are curved. And they're circle-ish with spikes on them. And that's all I know. What do you know? I know. Alligators napping turtles. What about alligator snapping turtles? That they have a powerful bike and they then easily make wood and they have a strong bite force and they have a strong cell that can't break and that's all I know. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I don't want people to hate me for letting that little snake get a little stressed out there. Uh, Louis Sice, by the way, that's, that's your snake buddy. <laughs> he's had the most meals, so he's done the best so far, which is why I let him be the kind of guinea pig for getting handled by the kids. <sighs> and he did all right. He did it actually all right. The snake, I mean. The snake did fantastic, because if I was that snake, I would be trying to kill everything in my path in that moment. But he, he did really, he did really well. And um, what I was saying about, about the baby, like, I would... She's not really ready to be handling snakes yet. In my frustration, I was just like, all right, you really want to touch that snake that bad? And like, go feel it. You know, that's kind of how I raise my kids is like, best way to learn is experience. And what I was saying is that I would much rather her get bit by a little baby blood python than like even a baby, a baby dog, a puppy, or a little kitten or something like that. Because they, they do way more damage. These blood pythons, when they're babies, they barely even break skin. So anyway, I'm just explaining myself a little bit because I'm sure... Not everybody's gonna be happy with everything that just went down right there. But you know, it's real life, people. Real life. Real life isn't always pretty and bubbles and candy, and I'm, I'm okay with that. I think you should be too. All right, now the giveaways. The first one we're gonna do is the one that was from 
giving away a temp gun was actually the name of the title, so it was pretty obvious we were doing a giveaway in that one. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for one of these things for you guys. I told you to name my first snake that I hashed out here, and I think a lot of people probably cheated off other people in the comments, but that's okay. As long as you all now know the name of our first snake that we hashed out, that's, that's cool enough. So we're just gonna go in here, copy the video URL, plug it into the random comment picker, and the first one that pops up with the correct answer, which was Mr. Pink, well, you're getting the temp gun. Good luck to the first person to get pulled up with Mr. Pink. And you, choo, 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 choo. Cole Dalby. That'd be Mr. Pink, big dog. <laughs> First one. All right, Cole Dalby, please get a hold of me. I'll send you your temp gun. Congratulations. For the next one, it was the, uh, what were we giving away on the next one? Oh yeah, two of those little, uh, these things. Humidity sensor, temperature sensor deals. That was when I told you to leave a comment about, uh, you know, what are the line you draw as far as taking your pets to the vet and how much that costs. And speaking of stuff like that, Junior just had his last appointment this morning. Riley just updated me and he's gonna be good to come home. Next time I go up to Freedom Breeder, we're gonna meet somewhere up that way. And Junior's coming back home, finally. So you guys left a ton of really good comments on there and I did really honestly, I, I couldn't pick one of them. So I'm just gonna do a random comment picker and we'll, we'll see which one comes up. Deb Shope. All right, Deb, so obviously in your comment there you said that you, you don't keep snakes and you have dogs, so I don't know that you'll necessarily need those hygrometers and thermometers, but if you do want them, well, I mean, I'll still send them to you, but I'm also going to give the option if you want to find another comment down there, somebody who keeps snakes and can maybe use those things, you can do that, or I'll send them to you. I'm leaving it completely up to you, so your call, Deb. Oh, all right. I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. That stressing that snake out and stressing myself out, I... I think we've, I think we're done. I think we're done today. We're going to a uh, music festival, Live Oak Music Festival, something we go to once a year. Ah! Oh, yeah. When mommy gets home from work. <laughs> I'm done. We'll see you guys tomorrow at the music festival. Ready?